What is up guys, in today's video we're going to be comparing the recently unvaulted SMG and the Twin Mag SMG. I'm going to try to let you guys know which spray weapon is best in Chapter 4 Season 2. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and comment down below which SMG you think is better. So, the SMG that was unvaulted is just called the SMG, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to just call it the unvaulted SMG. Uh, just so it doesn't get confusing when I'm just say straight up SMG if you didn't know if I was talking about the twin mag or the recently unvaulted one So when I say unvaulted SMG I'm talking about like the generic base mp5 looking SMG So as far as damage goes both of these weapons are actually identical They have the same damage, but the unvaulted SMG does have a higher headshot multiplayer So while the damage is the same you will do more damage with headshots with the unvaulted SMG than you will the twin mag. Another advantage the unvaulted has is that it does have a larger mag size at 30 rather than 20. The twin mag SMG has this unique mechanic where it has a smaller magazine, but it reloads fast every other reload. So you have fast access to 40 bullets. But after that second reload, you're going to have like a, a little bit of a longer reload. It's still not that big of a deal. The Twin Mag SMG does have a better fire rate, and I feel like the range is also better on the Twin Mag, but the accuracy is a decent uh, portion of why I think that, I think. Uh, but the, the fire rate being better on the Twin Mag just makes it just straight up better in a vacuum. You know, if you look, if you ignore, you know, the accuracy of the weapon or how inconvenient it is to use, if they have the same damage and one shoots faster, the gun that shoots faster is going to be the better weapon 100% of the time. The main difference that kind of makes it up in the air is the fact that the accuracy of these weapons is very different. So Bloom in Fortnite is the mechanic where your crosshair expands as you shoot. So the, as you shoot, the larger your crosshair gets and the more inaccurate your weapon gets based on that because the bullet can go anywhere within the reticle, right? So if, you, if your reticle is the entire screen, your weapon would be really inaccurate. If the reticle is really tiny, then there's a smaller area where your bullets can go. You're going to hit more of your shots. The Twin Mag, the bloom of it gets affected a decent amount by whether or not you're aiming and moving. And as you shoot, it expands a decent amount the longer you shoot. The unvaulted SMG has the same bloom pretty much all the time. Whether you aim in, it doesn't matter. Uh, whether you move while shooting, it doesn't really matter. As you shoot, it doesn't really grow that much. Uh, so... You, we have a weird spot where the Twin Mag has a lower low as far as Bloom goes, but a higher high. So when the Twin Mag is accurate, it's much more accurate than the Unvaulted SMG. But as you're shooting the weapon and once you've full sprayed, it's about as inaccurate as the Unvaulted SMG if you're aiming in. If you hip fire the Twin Mag SMG... Once you've been shooting for a decent amount of time and moving as you're going to do, it's going to be much larger. The bloom is going to be much larger. The reticle is going to be much larger, making your weapon less accurate. So if all you ever do is hip fire these SMGs, the unvaulted SMG is actually going to be more accurate. So the twin mag is in a weird spot where, like I said, it has lower lows as far as bloom goes. If you're aimed down sights and you haven't been shooting that much, you could be very accurate with this weapon over decent range. But if you full sprayed a mag or you're strafing while hip firing, the twin mag gets larger than the unvaulted SMG does. Another difference between these SMGs is going to be the recoil. They both have recoil, but I think the twin mag SMG has much more recoil when you hip fire it. I don't really have a problem controlling it either way with either weapon. I'd feel just fine with them. But depending on like your feel for the weapon or how you feel controlling recoil, uh, it may kind of sway your opinion. If you feel like you can't control the twin mag at all when you're shooting it, like basically the way you counter recoil is you just kind of pull down on your analog stick or mouse when you're shooting. Uh, but if you feel like you just can't control the twin mag for whatever reason, then the unvaulted SMG might be a better option because it is just more consistent in a way it has less recoil the bloom isn't affected by as many factors uh personally i feel more accurate with the twin mag even though it does get to a larger spread when you're hip firing that ads bloom is just so nice because by the time i've been shooting it for a while typically i'm going to be aiming in and oftentimes if i'm using my smg like I've talked about in several videos, it's just to fill the void between pump shots. So it's not like I'm going to be full spraying a mag constantly while hip firing. Sometimes it happens, but if that happens, I'm probably barrel stuffing the opponent. And more often than not, I want to like shoot my shotgun, swap to the SMG for a bit, and then swap back to my shotgun for the finishing blow. If I'm using a pump shotgun, 
I also really like the ADS benefit of the twin mag. The reticle stays very tight if you aim down sights. It does eventually get to what the unvaulted SMG gets to, but that's at the end of your mag. And I really like this for when I'm on island, whenever someone comes up the zip line, you could just melt them very fast with the twin mag if you pre-aim where they're going to come up. And then also if you push an opponent that's using mobility, uh, I feel like the twin mag is just better for that type of situation. When I was using the unvaulted SMG, I felt so inconvenienced, like if I katanaed onto somebody and then pumped them. And then like, as I was doing that, they were swapping to their katana and getting away with the twin mag. I could just swap to it and spray them kind of as they were katanaing away. But pretty much the moment they started moving, it felt like they were out of my range with the unvaulted SMG, just because of how less accurate it is when aimed down sights. Like it doesn't get that like benefit to accuracy when aimed in like the twin mag does. The pulse rifle is also still a very, very good spray weapon. The nerfs, you know, did affect it, but it's still a very good weapon. And it also has that advantage over the unvaulted SMG of being able to just still be useful when somebody's using mobility against you like i felt like past like five or six meters with the unvaulted smg i just felt like pretty useless but with the twin mag smg even at like somewhat of a decent ish medium range but like not quite medium range but you know in between close and medium the twin mag can still have a say in that fight and the pulse rifle definitely can still have a say in that fight and i feel like those situations come up pretty frequently this season with how often people use mobility to get away and you'd be surprised how much extra damage you can get on them and even hip fire wise i felt more accurate with the twin mag a lot of times I don't, I don't really know how to describe it but i just felt so much more comfortable with the twin mag smg and you could also just go with no spray weapon with how the game is right now if you like using something like the combat shotgun, the maven shotgun, or even the exotic maven shotgun, I feel like you can get by using one of those and no spray weapon just fine. And then you could kind of double up on mobility or have room to carry a sniper, extra heals, utility like the bunkers. I feel like the way the game is right now, uh, there's a lot of different setups. There's a lot of different like weapon or inventory setups that can definitely be top tier and very viable. And even between these two SMGs, like I prefer the twin mag. I feel more comfortable with the twin mag. I feel more confident with the twin mag. It probably shouldn't be the reason why you're winning or losing games one way or the other. Like I, I could use the unvaulted SMG and win games just fine. Like there was times where I missed the twin mag or I would have rather had the twin mag. But more often than not, it was just fine. It got the job done as far as like filling what you need out of an SMG. I feel like they both do fine and it really shouldn't be the reason why you're winning or losing games either way. So even though I prefer the twin mag, if you feel like you're better with the unvaulted SMG, I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. They're both pretty solid weapons. But let me know down in the comments below which of these SMGs you prefer and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Like also, it's like, I don't know. Like if like, let's just say you're sitting there spraying somebody for all 20 bullets. And then you're like, yeah, those 10 extra bullets is really going to be a difference maker. I feel like it's not, like, great to be doing that, you know? I don't know where his player went. I think he might have went under one of the trees. I heard him gliding. And most good players aren't just going to sit there and, like, spray us on some other thing. Like, but his game is... Very different player to player, you know?